Montez Sweat, the Washington Commanders star pass rusher, one of the best young pass rushers in the NFL, is headed to the Chicago Bears. Yes, the Chicago Bears are buyers, not sellers. Sources tell me it is a second round pick going from Chicago to Washington. As of right now, it would be the 35th overall selection. Second year in a row that the Bears traded a two for a premium player. Now work out great last year. The hope is this one is much, much better. And of course, Montez Sweat, the kind of player he is, a rising player, player in the final year of his deal. No doubts on this one for Chicago. And if you're Washington, the way the season has gone, selling, collecting future draft picks makes sense. Potential win-win here. But you're right, Montez Sweat, premium pass rusher, now lands with the Chicago Bears. Well, the Washington Commanders have invested an awful lot in that defensive line over the years. So you knew something had to give here. Hey. It was going to be either Sweat or Chase Young because both of them were in the final year of the contract. So they weren't going to be able to do both of them. I am fascinated. I did not have the Bears as buyers at the deadline. Yeah, yeah. Who knew? And now they've got to try to get Sweat uh, under a long-term deal. Otherwise, this trade does not make any sense at all. If they can get the long-term deal done, though, I like it. It is a good young piece for that defense as they try to rebuild that defense. And then um, they can put pieces of the defense together while they make the decision about what they're going to do a quarterback going forward. Yeah, and I would say this right now, uh, as the draft order stands, I know Ian talked about that pick that the uh, uh, Bears just traded away. As it stands right now, they have the second and third overall pick in the draft. So you would think maybe perhaps – they slide back from one of those spots for a team that wants to come up for a quarterback or whatever. I mean, we're projecting way ahead. But potentially, you could get this pick back in some kind of a slide down. So Ryan Poles looking ahead and saying, okay, I'm trading away a pick, but I can fill that spot later on. They've also got Jalen Johnson, uh, a cornerback on their roster. that They could potentially move and get that pick or a pick near it back or whatever. So Ryan Poles uh, kind of working both sides of this thing. I would imagine at some point we say, oh, okay, there's a move to get that pick back that they traded for Montez Sweat. Uh, so I like the philosophy. I like the idea. I like what he's doing here. I can sort of see that they, he's thinking a couple of steps ahead, and I like it. Yeah, and what this does, I mean, look, every trade has a trickle-down effect, right? So I know the Chicago Bears have been talking to the commanders, but not always about Montez Sweat. It did sound like Chase Young was part of the discussion early on. In the end, that did not work out. This is the one that ended up working out, which makes me think, I should say think because we have four hours still, it makes me think that Chase Young probably stays there. And if you're watching and trading away two premium young pass rushers in the final year of a contract, maybe it would not make a ton of sense. Trading one when you were probably going to lose one anyway, I think makes a lot of sense. So Washington now with a little bit of a reset. And I don't know what they're going to need draft picks for. Is it going to be a quarterback? Is it not? We will see. They get a really good potential chip in the what may end up being the 35th overall pick.